All right, Shalom Akim, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahu Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, um, out there pushing out this word in true sincerity. All right, I want to come to you do an, and do a quick video, and this is a, a video uh, with the article from off of RT.com, which you can go search the article. Just put uh, put the, the title in the Google. And basically, uh, we're in the we're in the last days, you know, the last days in which the so-called white man is going to be pulled out of power. All right, uh, the United States of America is going to be totally destroyed. And what what we're seeing right now in a political stage, in the, um, the economic stage, we're seeing uh, nations pull away from uh, American hegemon, you know, and and they're starting to uh, side with Russia. Well, this is all biblical prophecy that's happening amongst these different financial and economic crashes that are going to that are going to proceed very very soon okay we're in the midst of uh world war three which is, world war three is going to be fought uh by fire nuclear missiles icbms and this is another testament to the the, the times that we're in all right we're in a time of war all right with in which all the nations of the world are starting to gather themselves together to fight against who the whore, which is uh, prophesied in the Bible on uh, name as uh, the name is Babylon or the daughter of Babylon, which you know if you're in the know you would know that this is America. Which I'm not going to go into a long video breaking that down. I've done that before, and there's many other videos out there. But I just want to come and and do a quick video on on this article right here. It says Russia to supply India with S five um, with five S four systems. S-400 systems defying Washington sanctions. Now, some years ago, not even maybe 10 years ago, this wouldn't happen, all right? Because uh, America, they put on, they put these economic sa sanctions on these nations to bring them to the uh, the bargaining table because America has uh, leverage. They have the petrodollar, all right? And, they're, and they, um, they, you have to turn in, anytime you do trade uh, globally between nations, you got to turn you got to turn your currency into American dollars. So India said they, they don't care. OK, so which I have this Wikipedia article with the India United States relations. They call it the Indo-American relations refers to international relations that uh, that exist between the Republic of India and the United States of America. Prominent leaders of India's freedom movement had friendly relations with the United States of America which continue well after independence from Great Britain in 1947, which you will, <coughs> the Indo-American relations, you will, you will call them neutral allies, basically, okay? Which they're not enemy combatant, but now you're starting to see all these different nations were once indifferent or they did big trade with America. They're starting to do what? They're starting to move over to the bear, uh, Russia. It says a contract for the delivery of S uh, five S four hundred systems, one of Russia's most advanced anti aircraft weapons, has been signed between Moscow and New Delhi. The Kremlin has confirmed. Um, like uh, Syria, Syria has the S three hundred system, what is a which is a later system, but it's still is still uh, in use even with the Russian government. Now these S-400 systems are even more advanced when you go into the specs. And this is a di direct defiance against uh, Washington, okay? Like I said, even 10 years ago, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't see anything like this. If you did see something like this, you will, you will have an invasion. But according to, what is that, um, Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, how, um, if I'm not mistaken, it should be the 38th chapter, how uh, Russia, Gog and Mega are gonna be they're going to be uh, guards unto these other these other nations, these smaller nations, and this right here is just leading up into the Third World War. Now you can you can say, oh, now this is not true. This is just you know people uh, strategically these nations strategically uh, uh, setting that alliances up. This always happens. Well, you know what? This this uh, in in history, if you go in history, there has never been a nuclear war, and these amount of nations have never have never had the capability of shooting a, a, a rocket from one end of the earth to the, to the other. 
with uh with destruct with uh, with um intimate planetary destruction okay they have something called the mad doctrine which is mutual assured destruction meaning if war was to break out between any of these nations and nuclear missiles were to be fired off the whole world would be destroyed now this is where uh this is the time that we're coming into and this is the time that we're in let me let me bring out a scripture i got two scriptures for you before i leave but uh let me bring out this scripture real quick this is a uh, revelation 11 and 14 the second world was passed second world was talking about world war ii which if you didn't know the bible speaks about world war one and world war ii and behold the third world cometh quickly the third destruction cometh quickly and this this war is going to be a war to end our wars all right this is a uh, second thessalonians one and which you can you can go back and you can read more of the article okay but I'm just going to end off on this. Uh, just, I'm just going to give you a scripture. Second Thessalonians uh, 1 and 6, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right. And the Lord is going to recompense America for all the troubles that they have caused the Israelites, which are you black, Hispanic, Native Americans and the whole world, including the earth itself. OK. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai, which the, it, the word says Jesus here, but his true proper name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Okay, he's coming back in what you would call um, a UFO, so to speak. The scriptures call him the chariots of Israel. So he's going to come back in a big chariot, like you see in the movies, right? But this is going to be real life. All right, and you're going to see this in your lifetime. And his angels, which are also going to be in chariots. And flaming fire. Okay, so he's coming in flaming fire. Okay, Isaiah 66 tells you about that. And flaming fire taking vengeance. So it says that the, the Lord, he's going to come back and he's going to take vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting instruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. All right. So the ones who believe, they're going to be saved. They're going to be called up to um, escape that destruction. And all those who know not God, who know not the most high, starting with you so-called white people. All right. The so-called white race, which are the Edomites of the Bible, who are uh, allotted to be destroyed. OK, right along with two thirds of our people that are non-believers and the heathen nations. Because of our testimony among you was believed in that day. Okay, so this is uh this is how the Lord's coming back, and he's gonna be coming back in the midst of this third world war that's about to take off. Well, and you have to ask yourself, why is there so much news? All right, of nuclear war. Why, why, why is that in the in the midst, so to speak? Why is that talk of the town? And it's only gonna heat up more and more as the end comes closer and closer. And we're right here at the end. So that's why we we as men of the Lord are the ones who have been called into this. We have to stay vid vigilant and watch, okay, as well as pray like the scriptures say. Okay, because the coming day of the Lord in which it said that he's going to come with fire. Okay, uh, in, in flaming fire, taking vengeance. Okay, so if you don't have this truth, if you've been playing around or if you're just a, a non-believer, you're going to be destroyed. All right, and, no, and none, of you, none of you people have ever seen a missile fly off and destroy something okay unless you were in uh the middle east so to speak all right here in babylon you're virgins when it comes to this type of war okay so this is the time that we're in all right so with that let me give all praise and honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem or kakodash double honor to my apostle and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings to you fellow akim out there put you on this word and choose sincerity until next time i want to say shalom